Hey Kaplan students, in this brief video I am going to show you how you can use SPSS and discrete data to make various graphs. To begin with, I have a data set which is called Kaplan Students and it's located in the doc sharing area. It appears to be information that from a previous Kaplan class um, and so you'll see that on the top headings, the columns, we have our different variables that we're looking at. And what I'm going to do is I want to switch over to my variable view just to give first off the different types of variables that we have here. And then also taking a look at the measures. SPS works with three different types of numerical measures. Nominal, which again, anything that can be counted such as gender, male, female, an ID number, also hair color, and political vote, whether or not you do vote. Those are all things that can be counted. Um, the other type of data, quantitative, is scale. So anything that can be measured will have a scale measure. So height, shoe size, excuse me, height, age, weight, etc. GPA are all examples of quantitative scale data. And then the last one is ordinal data, which anything that can be ordered. So shoe size is an example of that because you have sizes six, six and a half, seven, etc. But anyway, if you look at the variable view, that can be a indicator on which of the different variables over here you could use to make a particular graph. So what I'm going to do then is go back to data view and I'm going to make a graph using the chart builder. And when I do that, you'll see when I open up chart builder, first off all the variables of my data set are listed over in this window here and then down in the bottom I have this gallery of different types of graphs that are available but again there are certain types of graphs that won't work for say nominal data. A pie chart will, a bar graph will. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag a bar graph in there and what I'm going to look at is well let's see what's the relationship between hair color and GPA. Which is one of the nice things about using SPSS. You can do a lot of experimentation here. Alright, so I've got hair color on my horizontal axis and then I have GPA scale data on my vertical axis here. I want to go ahead and click titles and footnotes because we want to give our graph a title. So I'll click on title one and you'll notice that this window pops open so I can go ahead and type in what my title is. And so I'm going to just say um, hair color and college GPA. Is there a relationship? but you probably already know that answer. So I'm going to go ahead and then hit apply and close that. And you'll notice at first when I, the first time I was working with this, I was kind of concerned because, okay, I see my hair color and my GPA, but I see categories. I don't see the names of my hair color and so on. But if I just go ahead and hit okay and then paste it, there you'll see I've got my information. So hair color and all of the different hair colors that were in that data set are listed here and then the mean GPA. So as you can see there really isn't much of a relationship so everybody you know the different hair colors that's not going to have an effect on what your GPA is. Okay so those people that are blondes are just as intelligent as different hair colors.
even though they're always the ones that get ostracized. So anyway, hopefully that explained how you can use Chart Builder to make a graph. You, we could have done the same thing with a pie chart as well. Just experiment, but it really does help if you look at the variable view to see what type of measures your particular data is talking about. I hope you find this helpful.